Hi, Barbie. Hi, Chelsea. Hi, Doctor. So what brought you here? Do you have any concerns? Because last time when I saw her, she was absolutely fine. Oh, she had so many ice creams this summer and she's been complaining about a pain whenever she has one lately. I mean, I know there must be a cavity or something. But will you please have a look and let me know? Oh, so Chelsea loves ice creams. Oh yes, I love them so much and they're my favorite thing to eat in summer. That's fine, Chelsea, but whenever you have ice cream, you should brush your teeth. Oh, that part. I forgot. I'm sorry. Oh, that's okay, Chelsea. Let me have a look. What's going on in there? Open wide. You do have cavity, that's why your teeth are sensitive to hot and cold. Oh, I have cavity and that's why my teeth were sensitive. But how does cavity make my teeth sensitive? What does cavity do to my teeth? How does it work? And what is cavity? Oh, hun, you're asking so many questions. Take a breath. But mommy, I have so many questions to ask. That's okay, Chelsea. You can ask as many questions as you want. Okay, tell me then. How come you can hear my heartbeat and I don't? Listen. Do you hear anything? I don't. If my heart is beating, how come I can't hear it? What are kidneys, lungs, intestines and bladder? What are their functions? And what about brains? Is it hard like my skull or is it squishy? And how come some people are so smart and some people are so dumb? Whoa, those are really good questions, Chelsea. It shows your interest in functionality of human body. Do you really want to know how our body works? I can show you with some experiments. Are you ready? Let's do it! Human body 12 experiments Organs Lungs Heart Tooth Illusions Whoa! This is so cool! We have human body here with organs and we can put them where they belong. I'm gonna show you right now where everything goes. And then we can do some experiments this one is, I believe, is a lung experiment. You can hear your heartbeat. Wow, Chelsea can finally hear her heartbeat. And two, you can actually see how it looks from inside. And finally, Chelsea is going to know what is tooth cavity. So let's open and see. So this kit has everything that you need to know about human body. It has some organs and some tools to do some experiments. Whoa! Check out this one, guys! Wow, that's a human body. And we're going to put organs over here. Here we have some balloons and stuff to do some experiments that we're going to do later. And that's another experiment too. two. We're going to do, uh, I believe, lungs experiment on this one. Let's see what we have underneath here. Whoa! I don't know about this one. What's this? I'll figure it out later. We have some cups to do some experiments. A syringe. Whoa, this is so cool. This one has a tooth from inside. Whoa, that's so gross. We're going to do some heart experiment with these. And we're going to build our own DNA with these. I'm so excited. And here we have some cars that will help us do some optical illusion experiments. And you can do eye experiment with this tube. And here we have our human organs. Ooh! Wow! I can see lungs. Heart. And kidneys. What else do we have here? Brain. Whoa! That's so interesting. Okay, let's put them back in human body. I'm going to put this human on the stand so I can assemble organs in it. Just like this. In here, we can put all the organs. These are lungs and I have esophagus here and heart. And I'm going to assemble them together. I'm going to put this heart here in the middle and the other lung will go here. I hope I'm doing a good job. Oops! This is our esophagus. So when you eat, your food goes down here in your stomach. Isn't it cool? And I'm going to assemble a heart into it like this 
Whoa, that's actually how it is inside your body. And now I'm going to assemble lungs. One will go over here. And heart is going to be secure between two lungs. And this one is going to go over here. Whoa, this is so cool. And I'm going to put them back in human body. Wow, that's so cool. Here is the liver and I'm going to assemble stomach and cold bladder with it. That's the diaphragm and I'm going to put kidneys in it. And your bladder will go over here. Like this. And these are the intestines and I'm going to fix them together. Mm. So let's put this one over here. If I can see it like this under your lungs. Oops, don't come out lungs. Stay there. And then your uh, liver and your stomach and your gallbladder will go under here. And your intestines will come underneath here, like this. So let me fix it, like this. This gallbladder doesn't look right to me, but I don't know how else to put it. So I'm going to leave it like that for now. And I'm going to put in the brains, like this. The brain is the conductor in the center of the nervous system. The heart is the main organ of circulatory system, pumping the blood that feeds the muscles. In the respiratory system, the diaphragm is a muscle that causes air to enter and leave the lungs. The digestive system is the route taken by food. It passes through your esophagus, is ground up in the stomach, and enters the intestines where nutrition elements are separated from the waste. These organs are supported by the liver and the gallbladder. In the urinary system, the kidneys, which are right behind here, filter the blood and produce urine, which is stored in the bladder here before being expelled. Interesting, isn't it? And put the plastic cover on top of human body. So the organs are all safe. And I do have this chest plate to cover the organs. Ta-da! Oh, the human body is so interesting. Whoa. Okay, let's build this DNA model, which looks very complicated to me. So I hope I can do a good job. Wow, this is amazing. Look at this DNA model. And do you know what DNA is? Well, DNA is your body's family memory. You have 50% of your father's DNA and 50% of your mother's. It is shaped like a helix and is formed of four different nucleotides. DNA is found in all cells of your body. Isn't it amazing? Whoa, that's so cool. And your DNA 
actually looks like this. Here is the base and the tooth model and let me tell you a little bit about tooth tells you since you're here with your calities. So that's how your tooth looks from inside. You have or will have a total of 32 teeth in your mouth. The tooth consists of the crown. That's the visible part projecting from the gums. And then you have the roots that's inside the gums. Enamel, that's the hard surface that protects the dentine and enables chewing. Inside the tooth is pulp, which consists of nerves and blood vessels that you can actually see here. The tooth is surrounded by the gums, your healthy gums. How interesting, a model of lungs. I need a little bit of plastic tube, around two centimeters. I'm going to insert the bone in this chamber and stretch it out like this. And I need to put this plastic pipe over here like this. Now I'm ready to do some experiments. Now let's do the lungs experiment. How our lungs work? So this syringe is going to be working like a nose. So you're breathing in air and that air is going right in your lungs. So let's see how it works. Okay. Whoa. Inhale. And then exhale. That's so cool! So that's how your lungs work! Wow! I love this experiment! It explained it so well! So Chelsea, tell me how was it? Did I answer all your questions? I think you did! You pretty much did! Thank you doctor! Thank you so much! Now I know how human body works and what's the function of all organs and why we need them. I find it fascinating all the time. That's why I became a doctor. Oh, I want to become a doctor too because I really like human body and its different functions. I know, it's so interesting. I'm glad that I helped. If you have any further questions, do come back and see me, okay? I'll be glad to help you again. Okay, okay guys, that's it for today's video. If you liked it, do give me a thumbs up and subscribe. See you next time. Bye! What is that? My tooth? Oh boy, that's so big. That enamel is so hard.